In this video, I'll be solving January 2020, Paper 2, Question 1. Part A. Using a calculator or otherwise, calculate the exact value of the following. Part 1. 4 and 1 fifth multiplied by a third minus 1 and a quarter for 2 marks. So, you can use a calculator to do this using the A, B, L, and C function on the calculator, but I'm going to work this out the long way. So, the first thing I'm going to do here is to convert this to an improper fraction. So 4 multiplied by 5 here is 20. 20 plus 1 is 21. Over 5 multiplied by 1 third minus 1 multiplied by 4 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5 over 4. Now, remember that bud mass comes into play here. So multiplication will take precedence over subtraction. So I need to multiply these two fractions here first. So 21 multiplied by 1 here is 21. 5 multiplied by 3 here is 15. Minus 5 over 4. Now we need to find the LCM of the two denominators. The LCM of 15 and 4 is 60. 60 divided by 15 is 4. 4 multiplied by 21 is 84. Minus 60 divided by 4 is 15. 15 multiplied by 5 here is 75. 84 minus 75 is 9 over 60. And this simplifies here to 3 over 20. Part 2. 4.1 minus 1.25 squared divided by 0 0.005 for 2 marks. Now, the first thing you need to note here is that you need to work out this entire numerator before you could divide by 0 0.005. And you can perform all of this on your calculator by just typing this entire problem with the numerator in brackets. And when you press equal, you will get here 507.5. Part B, a stadium currently has a seating capacity of 15,400 seats. Part 1, calculate the number of people in the stadium when 75% of the seats are occupied for one mark. So I will take the number of seats here, 15,400, and multiply it by 75 over 100. Place this over 1, and when I multiply this out here, I'm getting here 11,550 persons. Part 2. The stadium is to be renovated with a new seating capacity of 20,790 seats. After the renovation, what will be the percentage increase in the number of seats for 2 marks? So, the new capacity here is 20,790. The old capacity is 15,400. And when I subtract it here, I'm getting here 5,390 new seats. Okay, so your percentage increase is equal to 5,390 all over the original amount, 15,400, multiplied here by 100 over 1, and I'm getting here 35%. Part C, a neon light flashes 5 times every 10 seconds. Show that the light flashes 43,200 times in one day for 2 marks. Okay, the first thing I need you to note here is that show means to prove. So they want us here to prove mathematically that there are 43,200 flashes in one day. So I'm going to start off by looking at the statement here. The light flashes here 5 times every 10 seconds. So I could write here 5t is equal to 10 seconds. So therefore t is equal to 2 seconds. Now I want to calculate how many seconds are in one day. So I will write here one day and using conversion factors I could easily calculate this. So I know here that one day has 24 hours 
and I know here that one hour has 60 minutes and I know that one minute has 60 seconds. So let's cancel off units. Days will cancel with days, hours with hours, minutes with minutes, so I only remain with seconds. So multiplying out here, this is 24 multiplied by 60 multiplied by 60 seconds. So I'm getting here 86,400 seconds. So the number of flashes in one day. is equal to 86,400 divided by 2. I'm getting here 43,200 QED.